today we will see the examples of the distributive property of the integers. Vipul appeared in an exam. The rule of the exam was that each correct answer would be given plus 5, while each incorrect answer would be given minus 3. If Vipul gave 45 correct answers and 45 incorrect answers, what should be his score? We can find the solution by two methods. First way to do this is to find out the score of correct answers and similarly the score for incorrect answers and then add both the results. So Vipul's total score is equal to 45 multiplied by 5 plus 45 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to 225 plus minus 135 is equal to 90. But we can solve this in an easier way with distributive property of multiplication over addition. Since the number of correct and incorrect answers is equal, we can say that Vipul's total score is equal to 45 multiplied by 5 plus minus 3 is equal to 45 multiplied by 2 is equal to 90. As you can see, by using the distributive property, we can easily find out the result in such situations. Next example, today Mangesh sold 156 kg sugar and 156 kg salt. If he earns a profit of 4 rupees per kg on sugar and a loss of 1 rupee per kg on salt, find out how much he has earned today. Solve this question by denoting profit as positive integer and loss as negative integers. Mangesh makes a profit of 4 rupees on 1 kg sugar. We can show this as plus 4. Similarly, on 156 kg of sugar, Mangesh's profit will be 156 multiplied by 4. Similarly, loss on selling 1 kg of salt is 1 rupee. We can show this as minus 1. So, on 156 kg of salt, Mangesh's loss will be 156 multiplied by minus 1. So, Mangesh's total earning is equal to profit on 156 kg of sugar plus loss on 156 kg of salt, which is rupees 156 multiplied by 4 plus rupees 156 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 624 plus minus 156 is equal to rupees 468. By positive, 468 here shows that Mangesh earned profit of 468 rupees. We can make it even more easier by using the distributive property. We can take 156 out of the bracket and keep 4 plus minus 1 in the brackets. Rupees 156 multiplied by 4 plus minus 1. Here the sum of 4 and minus 1 is 3 and 156 multiplied by 3 is equal to rupees 468. So Mangesh's total earning is 468 rupees. So you can see multiplication can be made easier by using distributive property. So today we saw examples of distributive property of integers. We will discuss few misconceptions related to them in the next video.